She obviously was probably every young female pilot's heroine. When you learn to fly, that is a pilot's name that always comes to mind. This is what life is all about. It's not about money or power or prestige. It's about exploration and adventure and freedom and faith. Jerry Cobb was born in Oklahoma in 1931. She started flying at age 12. By 16, she was barnstorming for a traveling circus. But when she tried to fly for a commercial airline, she ran into a roadblock. The interviewer says, we can't expect our passengers to fly with a girl co-pilot. Jerry persists, volunteering for jobs men don't want, finding a way to stay airborne. She ferries military planes around the world, eventually becomes a test pilot, and sets four world records in an Oklahoma-built plane. She earns the profession's top awards. And at age 28, she is named America's top pilot. Jerry's ultimate goal is to fly in space. Cape is go. We're standing by for you. After weeks of grueling testing, she becomes the first woman in America to qualify as an astronaut. But ultimately, NASA decides women don't belong in space. I'm 32 and wondering what to do with the rest of my life. Somehow I need to find a way of using my life, my flying, in serving others. Deeply spiritual, Jerry feels a calling to help impoverished tribes living in the Amazon. My peers think I'm throwing away a fine flying career. If I bury my flying talent in some executive suite, it is wasted and lost forever. If I use it to serve the isolated peoples of the Amazon, it lives on. In the four decades since that decision, Jerry has piloted her plane in and out of countless tiny landing strips carved into the jungle. She carries medicine, seeds, and a message of hope. The thrill of flying in jungle skies is not what is luring me to Amazonas. It's the indigenous people, the beauty of the rainforest, the desire to be useful. The governments of Ecuador, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru have all honored Jerry Cobb for her work in the Amazon. In 1981, she was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. She's just a truly remarkable woman, flying in a time that she probably did experience a lot of naysayers and, hey, you're a woman, this isn't woman's work, don't do this type thing to work through that and to do all of the wonderful, wonderful things she did to set records and all of her flying abilities. It, it's truly remarkable. Within each of us is a spark that wants to shine, to contribute to something larger than self. <laughs>